let us discuss about the medial surface of the brain and the salsa and gyre present on the brain uh, so let us start with the uh, main important structures here you should identify this corpus callosum and here we have lateral ventricle and this is the thalamus and we have midbrain with superior colliculus and inferior colliculus on the dorsal side or posterior side and this is the pons and this is the medulla this is the sagittal section medulla and continued as spinal cord and here is the cerebellum now when there is a lateral ventricle it lateral ventricle csf present in that will enter into the uh, third ventricle so this is a th between the two thalamus we have third ventricle through the foramen interventricular foramen this is the interventricular foramen through that it enters into the cerebral aqueduct through the midbrain and then enters into the fourth ventricle so this is a rhomboid shaped fourth ventricle which is present behind the pons and medulla and in front of the cerebellum so th having this in view let us move on to the salsa and gyre now so corpus callosum has the ant from anterior to posterior i want you to remember the cerebellum as the uh, posterior as a landmark so that you will come to know this is a frontal this is a occipital side or the occipital pole now so even for the corpus callosum the parts of it are we have a rostrum genu uh, body or trunk and this is a splenium right so based on that we'll move on so they will follow the pattern so anteriorly above and behind will go that way so in front of the genu we have two sulci are there one is uh, anterior and posterior par olfactory sulci now uh, first move on to this sulci and gyrus so we have the gyrus here in front of the uh, splenium this gyrus is called as the paratermal gyrus and between these two sulci this gyrus is called as par olfactory gyrus now so this is a corpus callosum so we'll move on above that so above the corpus callosum the sulcus is called as the callosal sulcus because this is a callosum corpus callosum so above this we have another sulci this is a cingulate sulci see this which is going starting at the front of the callosum corpus callosum and winding round here and going upwards towards the superomedial border this is the central uh, cingulate sulcus now we have uh, one small sulcus here this is the central sulcus so around that this gyrus is called as the paracentral lobule now the gyrus present here are so above this cal uh, callosal sulcus this gyrus is called as the cingulate gyrus cingulate gyrus or you can remember that this gyrus this sulcus is called cingulate sulcus so below that this gyrus is called as the cingulate gyrus and totally this total gyrus is called as the median frontal lobule median frontal lobule this totally now we'll move backwards so behind the splenium we have small uh, supraspleneal sulcus is there supraspleneal sulcus and uh, i already told you this is a pareto occipital sulcus pareto occipital sulcus and this is a calcarine sulcus which is forming a y shaped bib this is this calcarine sulcus is joining the pareto occipital sulcus now having this view we have a gyrus are there so this triangular area between the pareto occipital sulcus and calcarine sulcus this is the cuneus this gyrus totally is the cuneus and in front of the pareto occipital sulcus so this is the precuneus gyrus so below the supraspleneal sulcus this total gyrus up to here is the isthmus this is the isthmus right so this is about the medial surface 